Spinal muscular atrophy is a very rare genetic disorder affecting motor neurons in the spinal cord. In this special report for the Genetic Alliance UK, we hear firsthand from the mother of five-year-old Ezra, who is living with SMA, and find out why newborn screening is key to crucial early diagnosis. Look, it's you. It's me? Wow, well, I look just beautiful. What about the fringe? Yeah, Mum. Good job, Ez. <laughs> Mum, Mum. Ezra is a typical five-year-old boy. He loves dinosaurs, volcanoes, space, he loves reading books. He's great. Ezra's also got spinal muscular atrophy type 1, the severest form of a rare, genetically inherited muscle-wasting condition. Ezra struggles with many of the things most people take completely for granted, breathing, eating, even holding up the weight of his own body. But he's one of the first generation of SMA type 1 kids to make it beyond infancy. At that time, so this was, he was born 2016, um, his diagnosis came March 2017 and there wasn't any treatment in the UK and so all we were reading and what his neurologist said to us was he probably will die, he will die before he's two but he's a very severe case so he will probably die before he is one. Remarkably Portia and Ezra's doctors got access to an experimental drug from America called Spinraza. It saved his life but it's likely Ezra will always need intensive care. But once the neurons have died, um, they don't come back. Um, so he will still need his BiPAP ventilator at night time. He'll still need to be peg fed. Um, he will still need nurses um, here overnight with him, watching him. He'll still need his SATs monitored. Every time he gets a cold, we still need to be extra careful. Ezra and Portia's lives are a daily march of machines. Next to his bed here, we have a ventilator because his muscles aren't strong enough for him to breathe properly. And because of that, he also can't cough to clear the mucus from his lungs. So he has a cough assist machine and then a suction machine to get that mucus out. Then here we have uh, an oxygen and heart rate monitor. There are various orthotics to help straighten out his limbs and because he can't swallow properly he also needs to have all of his nutrition from a bottle that is pumped straight into his stomach. And the astounding thing is that these days Ezra's condition uh, and therefore the necessity for all of this stuff is entirely preventable. A simple heel pinprick test done at birth can reveal which kids have SMA, then they can get medication before irreversible motor neurone damage has been done. Six European countries already do this, but the UK isn't yet one of them. Screening is the best investment you can do as a society. Leading neuromuscular scientist Laurent Sauvé says it doesn't just make compassionate and medical sense, it makes financial sense too. The cost of the screening is about let's say three to four pounds per baby. It means that um, if you, you need to screen 10,000 baby to get a single one um, that you identify. So identifying a patient before the symptoms rather than after the symptoms costs about 30,000 pounds, right? But a life in the wheelchair, a full life in the wheelchair with all compensation with the fact that one of the parents will probably not be able to work with the non-invasive ventilation has been estimated to be between five and seven millions of pounds. So it means that if you invest 30 to 40 thousand pounds into the screening of for identifying the patients, then you can save down the line five to seven millions. If you're aware of a better investment, just tell me, I'll give you my money to invest. Portia needs no convincing. It's absolutely crazy that we don't have newborn screening in the UK. If we can find kids like Ezra when they're just born and we can get this drug into them, our lives would be completely different if that was happening when Ezra was born. Do you think about that at all? Yeah, I think about it a lot. Yeah, it's, it seems very unfair. But in the main, Portia and her family have accepted things as they are, the new normal, as she puts it, and they love their Ezra. And he's very smart. He's really smart. <laughs> like, he knows everything about the human body and stuff. <laughs> he's 
very really sweet brother. Although, like all brothers, he can be a bit annoying. Ezra is living his life to the full, but it's also a life full of physical dangers and limitations. In the UK, a child is born with SMA every five days. Until newborn screening is widespread, many of them will face the same challenges as Ezra. It doesn't have to be this way.